Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's going to be a great solar day today. These clouds are supposed to move out of here. And even if they stay about like this, it'll be good. But it's supposed to get better throughout the day. That'll be good. The panels are in full sun. The only problem is that top string is offline with a major component failure for the first time ever for me. So that solar array that I showed you outside just a minute ago, that goes into this utility room here and it's tied into two EP ever 40 amp MPPT solar charge controllers and on this one which is the bottom string we can see they're just starting to work 79.8 volts pushing 9 point well 12 amps there so they're starting to come into full sunshine everything's looking good on the bottom string and there's the top string not good at all. 13.2 volts, zero amps being pushed into the system. This started a few days ago and it has not gotten any better. No power coming into the bank whatsoever. That 13.2 volts, not enough voltage to push a single amp into the system. It should be up there around 80 volts as well. It's not, as you can see, I've got it marked for my top panels. <clears throat> so, this is the problem right here. This is a complete failure on the EP ever MPPT 40 amp controller. This is the newer of the two that I'm using, that one that I just showed you that's working fine and is still working fine. Is quite a bit older this one I added I, a little bit over a year ago and it has completely failed past couple of days I've spent a great deal of time uh, on the forums troubleshooting this I have reset it to factory reset several times like many people suggested doing it never changed a thing still zero power coming in to the Chin's batteries. And as you can see, it's starting to really affect what I'm doing by losing half of that. 47% full, this bank should be a lot higher by, by now. But <clears throat> needless to say, this has not been working for several days. I have gone out to the array uh, with my multimeter, tested the, the panels, they're producing the proper voltage. I, I get a reading about 80 volts out there. It fluctuates, of course, like it does. But the panels are all working fine. I've tested the lines. It, everything is working fine. This is not working fine. And interestingly enough, a couple days ago, I got a comment from a viewer who was telling me about this problem, and I mentioned to him that it had just happened to me as well. Come to find out, it's not an uncommon problem. There's many people on the forums talking about this exact same issue, and they tried the factory resets like I have done to no avail. Now, some of them said that after they would do a factory reset, it would come back on, work for maybe a few hours, and then fail again. So this is a complete failure of a major component yeah, 13.2 volts, zero amps coming in, none. So, like I said, this is a complete failure of this system here, this one particular charge controller, and it took half of that solar array offline, 500 watts, absolutely not getting into this system now. So, this is going to be replaced. I have no choice. I don't have the redundancy of an extra... Uh, MPPT controller 
to drop in here. I do have one, but it's, it's a much smaller one and it wouldn't be adequate to put in here. So I'm gonna absolutely replace this. And what am I gonna replace it with? Well, I'll give you one clue of what's gonna be replacing it. And it's the same color as that right there, blue. <laughs> Yeah, I would have never known uh, about this issue uh, being an issue with the EP Evers. I've had zero problems with it till it just completely failed. I'm not going to replace it with another EP Ever. I'm going to drop a Victron in there for sure. I've had zero problems with the v Victrons. Uh, of course, we all know they're a little more spendy, but sometimes you get what you pay for. So. I'm glad to have known about that. I'm going to keep using that other EP ever for a while, but I will probably eventually replace that and then keep that one that is working as a backup uh, because that's just not adequate power for my main house now to be half the solar panels offline. And it comes to find out that it's a fairly common problem. There were plenty of people talking about the exact same thing. Low voltage, zero amps going through that controller. So I'd be interested to hear from you guys how many of you have experienced this type of a problem. I'm going to quickly remedy that problem, get those 500 watts back online. All in all, I have to say I've been pretty lucky. That's my first uh, major component failure ever, actually except for when I was hit by lightning a couple of times, but that's nature. All right, everybody, have a great day. I'll show you how I, what I replace it with and get those 500 watts cranking back into the system. Aloha.